In the past, you've helped us find the rightful homes for a number of items, including a wedding ring, a display of medals, and a 1920s diploma. Well, tonight, a local clerk is looking to spread the word about a memento we think might be very important to a local veteran and his family. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has the details in this week's Street Story. As the pandemic was just intensifying, something lost was suddenly found in this North Smithfield convenience store. And that is where this history mystery begins. At the corner of Victory Highway and North Main in North Smithfield, it was hidden among the aisles of snacks in this Cumberland Farms. In a fast paced world in early March, someone slowed down enough to spot this ring and bring it to the cashier. No, I thought it was really cool that someone would actually return it. It sat in a store safe for a short time until assistant manager Amanda Cody found it and took a closer look. It was 75 years ago when the Battle of Iwo Jima exploded off the coast of Japan. Nearly 7,000 Marines were killed and another 20,000 were wounded in 36 days of fighting that secured the island for the Allies. The possibility the ring was lost by an Iwo Jima veteran who would more than likely be in their 90s or lost by their descendant was important to Cody. Military service is a family calling. Her great-grandfather, grandfather, father, now her brother, plus a number of cousins, all served. If they had something made like that and it was lost, I'm sure I would be searching for it for them. I think it's respectful. I think whoever did return it has maybe some similar history like um, service as I do. She posted some details on social media, but made sure not to reveal everything about the ring. That way, not just any stranger can come forward and say, oh, that's mine. So there's a couple nibbles, but nothing yet. Then there's this regular customer, she does not know by name, who has not been in during the crisis. And you what, you think maybe it's him? I think it could be his. He's an older guy, looks like um, he would have served. He's always decked out in military gear and whatnot. The next step, obviously, is finding the owner. You can see all the details of where it was found, when it was found, on WPRI.com. In North Smithfield, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.